Hello, viewers. Uh, today's topic is uh, what's uh, arterial fibrillation, you know. So, uh, arterial fibrillation uh, is sometimes also known as um, uh, AFib or AF, you know. Uh, and uh, uh, it's the most uh, common type of uh, abnormal heart rhythms, you know. So, uh, artery fibrillation is caused by abnormal electrical charges, so that's so called signals, you know, that generate uh, uh, chaotically throughout the upper chambers of the heart, uh, we call it uh, atria. You know. Now, it reduces the ability of the atria to pump blood into the ventricles and that usually causes the heart to beat too, too rapidly you know? and one half million of new cases are diagnosed every year in the united states alone you know so that, uh, you can imagine the number of um, the patients in the rest of the world you know? and billions of dollars are spent annually on its diagnosis and treatment you know? Now the main symptoms uh, of the uh, atrial uh, fibrillation includes like um, uh, palpitations, you know, so dizziness or fainting and um, uh, weakness, uh, fatigue and uh, shortness of breath and uh, chest pain as well, you know. And, and so on the other hand, uh, some people don't have any symptoms, you know. Uh, you know, the complications of uh, the arterial fibrillation include like heart failure and uh, stroke. Yeah, so these are the two main com common complications. Yeah. Uh, it's diagnosed by the physical examination and uh, the uh, electrocardiogram, you know, and um, heart monitor, you know, sometimes heart monitor is a 24-7. Uh, it's uh, attached to your body, you know, so just so it monitors the blood pressure around the clock, you know, for sometimes 48 hours or maybe 72 hours, you know. And uh, <clears throat> other patients, the other thing is uh, patients uh, activated uh, even uh, recovery, you know, so uh, medications are commonly used uh, uh, for the longer term to control and prevent the recurrence, you know, <clears throat> of the uh, AFib, you know, uh, but medications may not be effective and uh, may have uh, intolerance, uh, intolerable side effects, you know. Uh, now, uh, electrical cardioversion uh, is uh, successful in over 95% of cases, you know, um, of this condition, uh, but 75% of them have uh, reoccurrence of disease within one to two years, you know. Uh, well, well, some doctors uh, don't uh, treat them and just uh, observe them, you know, for a long time, you know, say so just leave on them and just keep an eye on them so it doesn't get out of control, you know. And the non-medication treatments um, uh, of uh, the arterial fibrillation include like pacemakers or AV nodes and uh, ablation, you know, and uh, arterial defibrillators, you know. And the maze procedure is one of them as well. So the pulmonary vein isolation shows the promise for the treatment of the <clears throat> disease and uh, has the high rate of success, you know. So uh, however longer term experience is uh, necessary, you know. Uh, prognosis uh, with this condition depends on the cause and the extent of the type uh, of the heart disease, you know, so what's the level of uh, disease, you know, so it depends on the condition. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and um, keep watching.